all right guys so this is my wild medicine box I got it in a few days ago this is from tamed wild apothecary Flip it over. there you go this is a monthly subscription box they have um, different ones to choose from I get the um, the wild medicine box with the crystal box add-on so let me move this out of the way I'll take a little peek in here see what it looks like so there's the first little look inside the box oh yeah, I see a feather okay let me sit this over here Let's look at our cards first. Oh, a, tin a tincture blend. So this is the first card. Looks like we have a tincture kit in here this time, which I love. The first box I ever got had a tincture kit in it. Here's the back. And I'm just showing you guys. We're just kind of looking in this box together I have to go through and read everything and see exactly what goes together and all of that but peppermint ooh we got a peppermint that's our herb this month okay oh this will be what goes with my crystal box iron pyrite and if you guys want to read that you can just pause it and take a peek oh so we have iron pyrite and serpentine okay And here's everything that they have in the box which is nice because they used to not do this there's that if y'all want to look at it okay so the first thing in my box is the peppermint and I like how they include these little herbs can see them through the package I'm not going to open this one up I know exactly what peppermint looks like smells like all that good stuff I use a lot of it I'm going to sit it right here looks like we've got a smudge feather in here okay it's really cute So it's, there's a Palo Santo smudge kit and smudging feather. And I am always, if any of you watch my videos, y'all know I'm always happy to get Palo Santo. I love it. I like it so much better than sage. Here it is. It's a wood. Oh, I can smell it too. Oh, it smells so good. Let's see what's in here. Oh, a little shell that way you can catch your ashes in here always happy to get Palo Santo and that's something that I am happy to say they have in quite a few of their boxes is some Palo Santo okay they've also been having these really cute little bags so this one says stay golden it's kind of like a velvety filling material oh that's really cute I like that tamed wild apothecary and that I don't I think I said that at the beginning of the video that's who this box is from oh so that's the iron pyrite look how pretty that is oh that's beautiful I 
love that. Not long ago, I tried to get me a pyrite skull, um, like one of my little crystal skulls. There was a pyrite skull that I tried to get, but someone outbid me. So, <laughs> sad about that, but I, I, I'm happy to have this, and that's a very pretty chunk. It's beautiful. Yeah, this, this one, a lot of times when you have crystals and things that are sent to you, you know, it's kind of like, you know, they'll be pretty, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'm always one that likes to go in person, you know, pick it up, feel of it. I like the way this one feels. This one is really speaking to me, y'all. Put it up here so you can see it, how pretty it is. And I know I'm blocking some of the light here. I have a window right behind me. Yes, I really love that one. Oh, we got an amethyst. Let me see. Let me get this untied. These little, these little bags can be kind of hard to untie sometimes. I love them, though. Oh, it's cute. It's a little bitty amethyst cluster they're pretty little amethysts look at that I like that let's see and with the stones that they chose, you have to go on their website to see why they chose that rock. But, or that's what they say on the paper anyway. This is Salt and Sage Crystal Cleanser. Ooh, something else, y'all. And, and those are good ones. Salt's always good. Sage is always good. Palo Santo. But Kapal. Get you some cop um, some copal or copal. That's another really good one. That's one that I really like to um, clean my crystals with. Ooh, come back here. So that's really nice. I like the way that looks. Look how pretty it is in there. Okay. So here is our. Um, this is an herbal steam. Allergy season is the name of this one. Here's our ingredients. Eucalyptus, stinging nettle, peppermint, wintergreen, essential oil. Oh, it smells good. Mm, it smells really good. I love the way that's... And how you all use a steam is you get your... Um, really hot like you have your boiling water um, maybe not quite like a rolling boil but it's hot enough to make steam and you put your herbs in there and let them steep and put your head over the bowl with a towel over so you can get that steam and open up your sinuses do your research on that guys it's really soothing oh here's my serpentine this is the other stone that came with the crystal box or the crystal section of this box. Sorry. Kind of looks like it's got lichen growing on it. Here we go. Put you back here. package. I like that they've got it all packaged together. That's that's actually really nice because in a, in um, the last boxes it's kind of separate and you got to kind of, and I know I'm not trying to be picky y'all because I mean you can pick up the stuff and figure out what goes with what but um, it's nice that it's together. That way it's kind of dummy proof you know. That way uh, you don't even have to think about it. It's right there. So there's a dropper when you're um, if your tincture is complete, that way you can get a little up with it. Let's 
Ooh, look how pretty that is. I love that. So this is burdock root. Mm. Woodsy and earthy. like it. And... Here is the burdock root tincture bottle. It's nice that it's already labeled up. So that way, whenever this is finished, you can um, strain it off. What you, how you would make this is you would use vodka or Everclear, or um, you can even do it with vinegar. Um, yeah, um, but you would put that your alcohol or vinegar, whichever. Do they give instructions on it? I bet they do. Yeah. So, you would just put your alcohol or vinegar in here and let this sit, shake it up every now and then, um, about every day for about a month. Most tinctures, they say, though, um, you let them go three months is what I was taught. Um, but then you'd strain all of this off and just get your liquid. And so it's nice that they give you a little bottle. That way you can store it in there and it's dark. That way the light won't degrade it. So. Alright y'all. Oh, also um, the burdock root tincture is for allergies. Last thing. I, was, I set this aside because it was so pretty and I wanted to show it last and I almost forgot. Goodness. Um, this is the last thing in the box, which is a print. It's a very pretty print. Looks like a watercolor picture of the moon. Live by the moon. I really like that. I like watercolor. I think it's very pretty. Nope. I'm big on the on actual pictures, but I know you can't do that. Oh, goodness, that would like um, that would cost an arm and a leg to have originals in each one. But this is beautiful. I really do like it. I'm going to put it here on my on my desk somewhere, probably up here. I'll put it up there with my herbs. All right, y'all have a good one.